Hey everybody, Josh here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And I get, we, we put out a ton of videos, ton of content. People ask all the time, how do you, you know, narrow it down? Like, what are your top picks? And you know, there's a there's hundred different categories, a hundred different ways that we could narrow stuff down. But I thought it might be fun since 2021 has been such a, a weird and crazy year, but it's also been a really fun, exciting, creative year from an RV manufacturer standpoint. And I thought it might be fun to kind of kick things off with my personal RV nerd preferred favorite picks, the top five newer floor plans for 2021. We're gonna take a quick look through these things. I'll leave you links in the video description if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. And let me know, you like this little kind of rapid review format? If so, who knows? Maybe I'll be able to crank a few more of these out. Let's get started. Now these aren't necessarily in any particular order. I will admit though, I did kind of save my personal pick for last, my personal favorite. I thought I'd be, kind of begin things by looking at not just a new floor plan, but an entire new series that was released here, the J Feather Micro Series. They they came in, they they looked at what other people were doing, they borrowed some ideas here and there, and then they applied the little Jayco twist to it. And the first one that ever came out, the 166 FBS, I think so far is my personal pick. Hey everybody, Josh RV Nerd here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And if you look behind me, you can see why I am grinning. It has been a long time coming, but I am very excited to see the first of our J Feather Micros rolling in here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is an awesome new offering from Jayco that really broke a lot of molds for them and took them in places they had never really been before. And when you enjoy our floor plan in a flash, I think you'll see what I'm talking about. So this is one of the first times Jayco's really made an Asdell product. There's a lot of Asdell on the inside and outside uh, of the laminated walls here. It's a little bit bigger, but it really kind of falls into the category of something like a Rockwood Geo Pro that we'd have here at Halet RV. And I like that we have an AB option for you. They're both gonna do some things that the other does not. Like this is a seven foot six wide body, which gives it the ability to have some floor plans that are a little bit different and unique. And I tell you what, it might weigh a little bit more, but they really capitalized on making sure it had tons of storage uh, in that wider body space. Uh, we've got a solar package on it, which is optional, but you also have the uh, big off-road package, Morite stable steps, just all sorts of goodness. And of course, being a Jayco, you've got Goodyear tires and that best in class two plus three incomparable warranty for plenty of peace of mind. Now, when I started looking at my list, I noticed it was pretty much dominated by laminated trailers. That didn't feel right. I felt like there had to be at least one stick and tin representation on this list here. And when I started looking through the lineup, no new stick and tin models shocked me more and impressed me more than the new Wildwood 28 VBXL X Lite. They took a, a normal, boring bunkhouse camper and flipped it on its head with a rear room that is convertible and could become anything. You need a bunk room, you need a living room, a craft room, an office. It only did everything. And this is a concept that I think more manufacturers should pay attention to right here. Hello, Halet Nation, and welcome to all my RV Nerd Herd regular followers. We've got a brand new model for you today. It comes in a little bit under 6,100 pounds, and it fits very nicely within the realm of half-ton tow capability, a Wildwood x Lite 28 VBXL, which either stands for Vittles, Bittles, and Extra Littles, or it stands for a Versa Bunk x Lite model. And I'm pretty sure it's the second one and not the first one. Let's take a look with our floor plan in a flash. This is a cool model. Really, on the surface, it really just kind of fills in the slot of a normal quad bunk private rear bedroom. But if you're noticing, the X Lite series has gone through a significant update. X Lite models with a super slide like this now have the same full Versa lounge that you get in a full Wildwood. That was not the case last year. And if you're really looking close, did you notice that the X Lite slide system is now completely carpetless, which is a quality found almost nowhere else in a conventional RV class. So suddenly we are, we're half ton towable, we're more family friendly than we've ever been before. We have convertible seating, convertible sleeping. On a rainy day, if you're stuck inside the camper, you've got all kinds of room in this thing. Or if you just need to sleep everybody and their brother and their friends and their cousins, you could do all that here too. So if you see something you like, leave us a comment and let us know how we're doing. And if you see something you wish you could see different, remember the manufacturers do watch your channel pretty close and you'd be surprised how much your feedback does get seen by them. So let us know both ways. 
Now coming in at number three here, this will probably not surprise anybody that I included on this list, but it might surprise some people that I didn't include it as my number one personal pick, and that's the 252 RBS Freedom Express. And I say that because I kind of sort of accidentally sparked a chain of events that caused the creation of this new floor plan. And what I love about it is not just the towability, the lightweight, the Asdell, the taller ceiling, the true queen bed. There's a lot of things I like about it, obviously. That's why it made this list. But the fact that the furniture arrangements are so customizable. You have a choice between jackknife, theater sofa, hide a bed. There's a freestanding table, a dinette. I'm actually wondering, what do you folks think about this? After you see this little sneak preview, leave me a comment. Let me know, what would you think about ordering this with a theater seat directly across from the TV and then with a hide a bed in the slide and a free floating table and no dinette? Is that crazy or is that cool? Let me know. Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Halen RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And I accidentally inspired Coachman to create the all new 252 RBS Freedom Express that you see behind us. Take a look at this thing because it is very cool. It is in most ways very, very similar to a 248 RBS. But what happened here is I said, hey, Coachman, love your Freedom Expresses. That 248's awesome sauce. Is there any way though I could get you to custom build me a couple of those with theater seats instead of just a jackknife sofa? I said, man, we love that idea. But when we checked into it, we found out that a theater seat was too big and bulky. The slide out would have crushed it when it closed and we can't be having that. So what they did is they revised that model and came out with a whole additional floor plan. This does not replace the 248. It is a complement, a sister beside the 248. Both are still in production. So they swapped out the U-dinette for a two-bench dinette to get a little room by that slide for the sofa. They also did extend the floor plan slightly, but that has a couple cool benefits. It does mean it's a bigger living room. It also means that this has a little more counter space that the 248 could really benefit from having. Overall, I don't know if I could be much more happier than this. In a weird way, it's my little camper baby. Now coming in at number two is a model that I admit, when I first heard about it, saw it uh, on paper at least, I was totally wrong about this thing. Uh, the, the rep called me and said, man, you sure you don't want a couple of those on order? A lot of dealers are jumping all over this thing and I'm like, that's a weird floor plan, I don't know. And then I got a chance to actually walk through it. And when I saw the new 22 MLS Cougar, I knew immediately it was going to go on that instant classic bestsellers list. Cougar's not the first one to make this floor plan. I think that they, you could argue, were one of the very best to do it though. And what I love about it is all the, it's just the normal Cougar things applied to this smaller, lighter, travel accessible model. That's another thing that blew me away. That was the point when I saw the slide close, I went, wait a minute. This one really has some serious gusto here. It is small, it feels huge, it brings fifth wheel features to a half ton towable travel trailer segment. And it is for those reasons that I had to just flat out admit I was wrong and this is my number two. I have had a lot of requests for this one and I have been dying for it to finally land the 22 MLS Keystone Cougar, finally making it here to Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And I tell you what, this is, this is a good camper. From start to finish, front to back, it is brilliantly thought out and laid out. It includes, of course, though, all the good Cougar things like a hot, cold camp package that is tested and proven, a warranty that includes allowances for full-time RVing, 12-volt tank heater pads, all kinds of stuff, thicker sidewalls even. But it is completely carpetless. It has a bigger air conditioner. It has, like, close to pretty much full traveling access. This is a monster layout. If I was going to give it any knock, if I was going to say anything less than glowingly positive against it, it's just that it has an open concept bedroom instead of like a privacy wall. But that's also, they really exploit that front windshield to make this thing look and feel larger. It's a sweet, sweet alternative to a 22 RBS for someone who wants more than just a dinette or a theater seat. This gives you a dinette and theater seating. Now, before we get to our number one, I want to make a quick honorable mention to the Wildwood FSX 178 BHSK. If you're not familiar with it, uh, this has become like the best kept secret in the RV industry. It is by far and away the most popular model from that uh, Wildwood FSX group. And for good reason, the FSX division of Wildwood 
has found this incredible way to work themselves in those in-between spaces where you find all the industry standard stuff. They are finding neat, smart, creative ways to break the mold. And this floor plan in particular, the 178 BHSK, has not only become their most popular, but has spawned um, hosts of um, inspired R&D clones. R&D, by the way, if you weren't familiar in the RV industry, doesn't stand for research and develop. It usually stands for rip off and duplicate. <laughs> Which is why when I see something original, I do really like to point it out. This is the original, this is the OG, you could say. And uh, you're finding groups like from Catalina, J Feather Micro, even in upscale laminated divisions are taking note of what they're doing here. That's why I think they deserve an honorable mention. Hold on to your hats, because these tend to go fast. This is the 178 Bunkhouse Wildwood here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And it's pretty much the most popular, by far, little camper I think I've ever seen in my dozen year career. It falls nicely into tow package, SUV towability, and it packs so much into a little trailer. It's redonkulous. Uh, take a look at this thing with our floor plan and a flash. So it has a corner Murphy bed that they call a Jiffy bed, a massive space giving U dinette slide, a pair of double double bunks you just don't normally find in a single axle little camper, uh, a completely facelifted, updated uh, interior look, and massively improved kitchen compared to last year. And I think they've also improved the camp kitchen compared to the previous season. Hang with us because there's a lot of good on this one. If you see something you like, let us know. You got a question, got some feedback, drop us a comment. And if we just do a good job and you appreciate the fact that we're out here in all kinds of inclement weather getting this footage for you, let us know that too. Looking forward to working with you. Let's dive in. And finally coming in at number one, a company that came out with over 20 new floor plans for just the 2021 model year, which is incredible. Most brands are likely to have three to six and they came out with 20. That should make it hard to pick one as a favorite. But it actually really wasn't because when I saw the 2516S Rockwood Mini Light, I looked at it and I immediately said that is perhaps the single greatest travel trailer I feel like I have ever seen. Uh, they have updated to include things like double Asdell walls, 12 volt fridges, factory solar and inverter packages, but this floor plan. This floor plan with an amazing front kitchen, excellent entertainment, great storage, and a 60 by 80 true queen bed slide all under 26 feet with an awesome suspension, half ton towability. You get it, right? You get why I'm all jazzed up about this thing. It is, I think, my favorite travel trailer, my favorite model I've ever seen. And that even includes things like that Freedom Express that I sort of inspired the creation thereof. So please enjoy a quick look at the 2516 Rockwood Mini Light. <laughs> It's here, it's here, it's finally, finally here. I've been waiting for one of these to show up since the first time I saw it. This thing is amazing. She tips the scales a little bit under 6,100 pounds and this is going to be an instant classic. The 2516S Rockwood Mini Light, finally here for the first time ever, a Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Brand new model, <laughs> it is great. And I mean, I am pumped. Ever since I saw the prototype of this one, I've been dying to get some full-fledged footage out here for you folks. Uh, that is some nice alliteration. I couldn't have done that if I tried. <laughs> but you'll see that this is basically the baby version of the 2608 ultralight front kitchen with rear bed slide. All they really did was kind of phase the dinette out, because some people just don't care about dinettes, and they kept in all the important things. Good prep space, great storage, excellent travel access, and something I've never seen in a mini light before, a full 60 by 80 true queen slide that's cool here's another thing this one has that uh the mini lights have never had before double asdell walls the front rear side walls they are asdell laminated on the inside and outside sections of the wall that gives you amazing weight reduction it helps uh with long-term peace of mind longevity it does help a little bit with sun reflectivity keeping the rv a little bit more comfortable there's just an amazing laundry list of things to go into this we've got it decked out in what i'm going to call my uh rv nerd preferred package today solar 12 volt fridge inverter white skin partridge in a pear tree do the Mariah Carey. Nope, nope, we're not doing that.
Now, I will leave links in the video description to all of the RVs that we've discussed today if you'd ever like to learn a little bit more about them. And I'd really appreciate uh, if you took a moment, if you appreciate the video, click the like button, subscribe and follow our channel here, and let me know, was, did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? Uh, was there a model that I missed? You know, I, I'd certainly be curious to know, what are your opinions on things? Because this is all just how I see it. You know, this is just my point of view. I'd love to hear it from your point of view, the viewer, the buyer, you know, what do you guys think? Because that really determines what we do here. So much of what we do at Halo RV, this very video is based on your input and your feedback and your suggestions. So if there's ever something we can do better or different for you, definitely leave us a comment, let us know, and I'll do my best to make it happen. So whether it's anything we've seen in this video today or anything else that we could offer you here at Halo RV, remember that all we ask is the fair opportunity to earn your business when you're ready, just like these folks did right over here. They made the trip over from Minnesota to take home a new Freedom Express today. And that is even a more local example of the fact that we do sell nationwide coast to coast. We're family owned and operated, been here since 1989. We don't do hidden dealer fees. We just try to put our best foot forward and run a decent business. And if that sounds good to you, give us a call when you're ready. Until then, Take care, stay safe, have fun, and let me know what top five you'd like to see next, everyone. Mm -hmm.